Now it's time to start laying out our hip rafter in more detail. This is the rafter square, or the framing square, and it's set to 9 inches on the tongue over 16.97 at the body. We've moved it to the end of the rafter, and again this is the framing reference plane. The first line we're going to draw will be at the ridge line. And you'll notice the framing point sits at the juncture at your ridge line and your framing reference plane. All right, we're going to take our rafter square. We're going to move it along the top of the rafter, the mathematical rafter length of 19 feet, 2 and 1 half inches. And this takes us to the building line. Draw your line there. Okay, from there we're going to move the rafter square over to the fascia line. Measuring along the top of the rafter. Two feet, one and five eighths of an inch. Draw a line along the tongue of the framing square. And again, this is your fascia line. Okay, take your framing square, rotate it. and move it to the bottom of the rafter. Now we're going to establish the seat cut. This is based on your height above plate line, which we said was 7 inches. So you measure along the building line, make a mark, and move the framing square over to that point. And make a reference line. And this is your seat cut, or your bird's mouth cut. Okay, now we're going to mark the fascia height. And for this project, it's six inches. So measure down along your, your fascia line, six inches. Place your mark. Move the framing square over. Mark along the body. And this is your plancher cut. Moving back to the ridge line end of the rafter now. We now want to draw a parallel line off of the building line. One inch. And this establishes our ridge setback line. Next, we're going to draw the cheek cut. Remember, this is half the thickness of the rafter, or three quarters of an inch.
And let's turn this one red because this will actually be a cut line. Let's take a 3D view now. We're going to look at the top of the rafter. You can use your speed square or your combination square to move some reference lines along the top of the rafter. And take your combination square, mark 45 degree lines. Here's a close up view. And we're going to turn those red to show you that's where cuts will actually take place. These are your cheek cut lines. You're going to do very much the same thing at your fascia line. You'll draw a parallel line, three quarters of an inch back, half the thickness of the rafter. This is your tail cut. And now a 3D view at the top. Using your combination square. Make a mark 90 degrees. And now 45 degree bevel cut. And another 45 degree bevel cut. You can extend that line over. If you didn't want to do a measurement for your tail cut, you could always do it this way. Just mark it on the top of the rafter and transfer your marks. You're going to turn these red because this is where the cut will actually take place. All right, next we're going to do the drop hip. Now, we looked at the measurement before, and we established that the drop hip will be 3 eighths of an inch. So you mark up, parallel to the seat cut, 3 eighths of an inch, and draw your line. This is in red because this is where the cut will take place. This is the drop hip. So if we're going to drop the hip, we also need to raise the plancher line. That would be 3 eighths of an inch. And we do this so that the height of the fascia matches up with the common rafters. We're calling this the raised plancher line. All right, and this is our layout. Next, I'll show you how to make the cuts. first rafter cut we'll make will be the cheek cut. Take your saw blade, set it to a 45 degree angle. Now we'll cut along the cheek cut line. You'll probably want to make this cut from the top down as opposed to the way I'm showing it here. Remove this portion of the rafter. Now you want to flip the board over to the other side. And using your framing square, just transfer this cut line to the other side of the board. And once you cut that off, you've got the cheek cut. It's a double 45 degree bevel cut. Now let's do the bird's mouth cut. Set the saw angle to 90 degrees. Cut along the building line, up to the drop hip line, and then along the drop hip. And just cut that section out. Now 
Next we're going to make the tail cut. You set your angle to 45 degrees. This time you can cut from the bottom up. And just cut off that whole back section of the board like that. This is the top view. Flip the board to the other side using a framing square. Just transfer that line down. And then you'll make this cut from the top of the board down. And that's the tail cut. Next we want to make a straight 90 degree cut along the raised plancher line. And that is it.